Welcome back to Watching Baseball. My name's Jimmy. I've got Jake with me. As always, we are watching tiebreaker games. Are you in the playoffs or are you going golfing? This is 2008. I think we had three years in a row where MLB got a tiebreaker. 07 we watched uh, last episode. 08, and I believe there's one in 09 as well, which is kind of crazy for baseball. I'm excited for this one. It's a good game, and there's some fun uh, around it. Jake, how are you doing? I'm doing well, James. I'm doing well, man. And, yeah, I think uh, I think the Central follows again next year. And uh, I was going to come out full mean, uh, which normally isn't in the Jake playbook. Um, this Twins team isn't very impressive. I mean, the, the further I dive into their pitching, they had a lot of guys have really just solid years in the rotation, and Liriano came up. Um, so they actually had a pretty solid pitching staff, uh, including Joe Nathan on the back end and Boof Bonzer in the bullpen, just one of the best names in baseball history. But this lineup is tough. It's kind of Morneau, Maurer, Denarts, Ban, kind of, and then nothing. Uh, what about, this White Sox team is a lot of fun, though. You got Young, Delman Young. Delman's in there. I mean, you know, I, there's a uh, you know 750 OPS. You know, Delman Young, um, 741. Uh, yeah. Kadire was under 700 that year. Like, uh, I, I don't know. The the Twins team isn't kind of, <laughs> and maybe this is just shots fired at Trevor Plouffe, but, you know, the, the meat of that Rockies team we just saw, they kind of went two through seven in a stacked lineup. And this White Sox team, I mean, it, it it's kind of the other side, uh, other side there. Like, you see, you know, I've got Ken Griffey Jr. in this game, a, a 38-year-old Ken Griffey Jr., which is fun. Jermaine Dye, Carlos Quinton had a huge year, uh, and Jim Tomei, old man Tomei's on this team, which I, I think we'll be seeing him. So a uh, little AL Central blackout, baby. Yeah, this season, the Twins I don't think is as bad. as like both teams had five guys with uh, over 100 OPS pluses. I think they actually they match up better for this season than maybe in, in your, your overall like look of those guys. But – the numbers kind of stack up, but there's a lot of fun names on the White Sox, like a lot of fun names. You got Nick Swisher, Canerco, uh, Tome Dye, Uribe's on there, Burley's, Burley, Mark Burley, a lot of fun names. Nick Swisher hated the White Sox, um, did not like his time there, I don't think. I think he's publicly said that. Maybe not. Maybe I made that up. I think he said that. I don't know. But anyway, this is a fun game. This, uh, this game is known as the blackout game. Because the White Sox told all of their fans to dress in all black. And they did. And I didn't really put that together because last episode I said the Rockies needed a little more cohesiveness in their fans with their colors. And this is the most you'll ever get. Oh, that was yeah. with one out in the second. All right, we we're diving right he into the, the fifth inning. To go after him, tied at zeros. The strike zone. But the Twins get the first runner. Gonna go after that one it was first one batter on base. Where's the batter Shin John Danks line. versus Nick Blackburn. John Danks had a huge year this year. Picks of the Danks. Of Virginia. Here's Danks. The outside two and nothing. The adrenaline rush is now over for the starters. I believe you go into the third or fourth inning, Steve. You have that adrenaline. Now we're going to make some pitches. He's going to make one here on two and zero to Kadire. That's in there for a strike. The, the adrenaline rush is over. So he also loves the ball away, this it? broadcast, like the White Sox just, just did a rewatch on their official First YouTube channel, like six days ago. In the so they don't have the rights to like all of TBS's score bugs, I guess. Here's the two one to Michael Kadire. So we're just going to have to treat this like it's 1972 and remember the count. Dax has issued two free passes. Also, I can look at the baseball reference. <laughs> And the 3-1, sure. a swing and a line drive to left. That could be extra bases over to get it wise. Can't get it on the roll. Kadire's going for second. He'll make it with a leadoff double. First of the ball game for Minnesota. Leadoff double. fell behind, and then Kadire looking for something middle in. Kadire. Crushed it down the line. He got a high fastball. He might have been a 1-1 pick. Out over the plate. I wanted to see how many... How many players on this and White Sox team were traded for? Because they, they traded for Griffey this, this season, I believe. Yeah. Um, 
Um, well, where, how do I find that out? The ball the right side. He'd rather hit it out. They no, hadn't the made the playoffs the since they won the World Series in 05. For the Sox, the double for Kadir and the Twins, and the pitch to Young swung on a miss strike one. He one-handed that one. Likes that, that first pitch. He likes the right same. Yeah. And that's where you can stay until you go to get Delvin Young, and then you want to throw that face-high fastball. Australian League star, Delvin Young. Young for one with a fly to die in right field. Cabrera will come in behind Kadir, the base runner, and I'll move back to his position at short. The 0 1 pitch, young lines went out of play upstairs to the club level. And count 0 1 2. They traded for Ken Griffey Jr. and Horacio Ramirez. Preferably out over the plate. But you want to make sure that it's helmet or face high, not letter high, because he hits that ball hard. Danks room to work to Delman Young. Kadire two strikes. Two pitches, swinging a fly ball to center field. This is going to send Griffey back. Kadire will go back and tag. Griffey under it. His throw comes in. Kadire will make third base, sliding. One out. So, for put Harris. that in your mental thing, but it's head. Ken your Griffey mental did. head. He backed Runner on third, less than one out. Or less than two out. Of Tagged up on Griffey. It How old did you say Griffey is? 38? I think he's 37, 38 here. That's yeah, I don't, I don't think you do that on Young Griffey. Oh, and then catch it's it stationary. That runner is going to tag up, especially a Twins runner. And now the infield has to come in at all four positions. <laughs> the throwing seeds at him. Situation. I don't think so. Good time. Do or die game. Got to keep it loose. That's an Aussie team right there. Real estate, they say location, location. No more important right here for Danks to Harris, who chokes the bat with a runner at third. The pitch, strike call. The name Danks is just fantastic, man. One out. Oh, yeah. First John runner Danks, to third. Man. For either ball club. Did they say first runner Price aboard for either ball club? In the second. It ended on a ground out. Kadir at third. One out. 0-1 on I'm Harris. Sure. And Danks with the pitch. A swing and a miss. 0-2. That was a nice pitch. And room to work to Delman Young and made a mistake with a high fly ball. Now he's got Harris on too. It is important for him to keep the ball down. guy Persinski behind the plate? Yep. And if he does hit it, he'll ground it to the left side. Are you really delayed right now? We're going to try and pause it. Harris calls time in that right-handed batter's box. This is kind of how it's been. Good call. Caps home plate twice with a bat. Danks will read signs from his catcher, Przinski. No score, fifth inning. One out to Dyer at third, and the 0-2 to Harris inside blocked nicely by Przinski, <laughs> and he tried to decoy <laughs> the runner at third, didn't he? <laughs> Fucking yeah, Przinski, man. Having played with AJ oh, my God. Gamer. AJ spun around like he didn't know where the ball was. What? That is... But he had already made a nice stop of it, trapping it between <laughs> his legs. <laughs> Fooled me for a second. With the M and M hair going, I mean, you think that, it doesn't get much no, better really than that. Get if that works game. one time, it's worth one it. One and two on Harris. Yeah, two right. Dyer at third. And the one two to Harris. Now Shoots he wants that pitch. Call, didn't get it. Two and two. If you can, if you constantly do it and it never works, you're AJ Przinsky, and everyone hates you. Yeah. That's the give hey, and take there. I, come back I, I, I'm not going to critique him because, hey, if there's a time when that base runner on third base is antsy, 163-0-0 game, I like it. Griffey coming on. Kadire's going to try the arm. He's tagging Griffey. Has it? He's coming home to throw to home. In their position. Bam. He got him. He got him. What a play by Griffey in center. The tag mm. You can tag on Griffey once, but you ain't going to do it twice. Halfway through the game on his yeah, that's pretty shallow for Griffey. It's a really nice play by Przinsky. I mean, he had to keep, just put his body on the line and hold on to that. Pretty much full tackle, yeah. Had just enough lefty tail on it to come back enough to, to not ruin the play. Gonna show a replay. No replay. I'm gonna go back. I want to watch it again. Oh, I'm gonna do the the. Let's go super slow mo. 
Oh yeah. Mm. I mean that arm is just out to dry. It's out there, yeah. That's a great play. I mean it's it's a good throw by Griffey, but the the tag and hanging on by Przinsky actually I think is the more impressive part of that play. Just like you said, it was shallow. It's shallow, and again, that that little bit of left detail, because when I first saw the throw coming in, I was like, boy, that's that's going to be up the line. But it just had enough of that comeback to it where Przinsky can tag and not have his full body get destroyed. Now, you, you know, you make a good play in the field and you come to bat the next inning. Um, nothing happens, though. As you can see, he goes yard. Yeah. Ramirez grounds out. Oh, here's another replay. That's so shallow. But it was really close. Yeah, man. I mean, and that's uh, I mean, that's Jake's rule of make them make the play. Um, and again, look look how the rest of this game ends up playing out. I mean, that was their best chance to score. You know. Yeah, it's true. It's a good play. Uh, all right, we're going to skip forward to it's going to be hard to do without the scoreboard on here. Um, we are going to skip to uh, this is bottom six. We're going to skip to bottom seven. All right. So now it's a 0-0 game going into the seventh inning, and Tomei's up. Now I watched a little. I watched a little video where Tomei talks about this at bat, Jake, and he says that um, Blackburn had been throwing him changeups. So he, he, I believe he said his approach here was hunt the changeup. Is what I heard. What I listened to, cool. if I recall it correctly. Nine in a row retired by Blackburn. See what he starts to tell me with. The fastball outside for ball one. No radar gun. This place is amped up. Tell me he hasn't had many hittable pitches. Nine in a row retired by Blackburn. Have the shift on for Tommy. The 1 0 Blackburn pitch. Ooh. That's down and in 2 0. That ball had some movement on it. Similar to the pitch he was called out on. Back in the fourth a inning, late bite. Was a big yeah, hit. yeah, cut fastball. He appealed to Jerry Meals. He called a strike. It would had drop on it too. Might have been a slide ball. Here's the 2-0 to tell me. Fastball high strike. Whoa, that that's a high, high strike. Two and one. Two seamer. <laughs> that's on the tough. phone, Don Cooper. Yeah. And Got two strikes on him now. Wonder. Wonder if it was a big zone game. I mean, zero zero. Jim waits and the pitch foul back and out of play. Two and two now. He has enough on his fastball to get that in on his hands. He he did just take both fastballs, right? Guys, John Danks and Nick Blackburn. I think he just followed that one off. Making their the first two though, they got him to the two strikes. Now he might be in just protect mode. Gardner, John. Neither has a complete game. The 2 2 to tell me from Blackburn. A swing and a high fly ball. Deep center field. Running back Gomez. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Goal. Man, it was where that same pitch got called a strike. Yeah, maybe maybe I heard wrong about the changeup. That was a bomb. Like dead That's center. Nice story. Yeah, that was a bomb. <laughs> I mean, dead center and high. That was a. And look at the cohesiveness of the crowd. Just. Yeah. They. Tomei said, like, when he they got there and they saw the crowd all in black, they got, like, chills and were like, oh, shit. It's on. Rest for a funeral. Except Perzinski's hair. Blackburn now second on the team and giving up home runs. 23rd, he's given up. And that was a towering blast. The distance brought to you by the Chicago Gary Airport. Airport. 30 minutes from downtown Chicago. Future developments. Visit GaryChicagoAirport.com. It's also a donation from Orland Park, BMW, Mercedes Benz. That's it. I mean, that's the game. It's a one nothing game. That's one pitch. You want to see the final out? Yeah, we'll watch the, watch the last, the ninth inning. Um, 
Blackburn, Maharis, and now Nathan have the Twins. Everybody in this ball. Back for the ninth soccer. Big Bobby Jenks comes in, Jake. Numbers on mm. John Danks. Eight You're a big Bobby Jenks guy. Two walks, four strikeouts. Sox lead one nothing here on the ninth. When did we see him? I guess no, it was it the is. 05. Bobby Jenks will pitch the ninth. It's, it's the John Boy Jenks rule of being a closer. ERA, like, you got to have something. And Bobby Jenks, time. just big and named Bobby this Jenks. <laughs> you can't be just a normal dude and be a closer. You have to have something yeah. going on. And yes, big Bobby Jenks. Earth name Robert Scott. Listed at 6'4", 275. Probably a nice listing there. Yeah. So it's Kubel to face Jenks. Let's see. And that's into, uh, it's 27 that's years a, old. That's a, he slipped the clubby a couple hundo spots on. Jenks with the delivery, a swing and a foul. On the way in day. He's locked and loaded for the first pitch, wasn't he? Followed it back. Uh, 298, Bobo. Yeah, it's 275. He got it, but it wasn't in a hittable spot. Jenks from the set. You think he dyed his beard with the same dye Przinsky dyed his hair with? God, I hope so. That is team bonding. You know what I've got in my head? Przinsky was dyeing his hair. Jenks walked by, and Przinsky just gave his his goatee a little like scrub. Like here, I got you some, Bobby. And then he was like, "Well, fuck." Damn. I guess I have a blonde goatee now. He's not wasting yeah. and he's going right at him, and that was 97. <laughs> I guess I have a blonde goatee now. One nothing side. Thanks. Thanks, AJ. Bobby Jenks. Bobby Jenks this season. He had a uh, 263 ERA. That is a nasty pitch. That was a strike on Tommy, though. could do it to him. The depth on that was pretty cool. Let's look at this bullpen. We got a Matt Thornton who's doing it, Octavio Dotel, your guy. A young Boone Logan getting knocked around. Same pitch. Fucking so cool. <laughs> that pitch is awesome. Bobby Jenks, man. What's he doing? Let's get him on talking baseball. Priorities here are to keep Mauer in the dugout. If they're going to do that, Jenks has to work a one, two, three, nine to win it. Where would you guess he's from? I think we did this last time, and I'm on his Wikipedia now because we assumed it was a big Southern state kind of guy, but he's a Cali boy. No, that wasn't Bobby Jenks. That was um. Fuck, who was that? If Jenks is going to get it done, he's going to someone in the 95 here in the ninth. game. And hopefully no more than that. Kubel left handed out. You got a mullet, a mullet and Rod Beck. Rod, Rod Beck. Beck. Hey, go- <laughs> similar cloth. Swisher playing first. That's a big man to keep off base because he's their base stealer. Did I make up the thing about Nick Swisher not liking Chicago? I don't know. I don't know. Um, doesn't sound crazy. I think, like, he didn't start this game. I think he had kind of a tough year. Maybe there's something there. Uh, there's a lot of articles that say why Chicago White Sox fans can't stand Nick Swisher. Does that get tracked down? Oh, 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 the last out. I forgot about that. Dude. Um, I think this gets forgotten. Like, can I... Can we pause it at... I mean, look at that. Ball My is... man covering ground. Ball's here. I, it looks like a gapper for sure. Oh, that's that center field porn Ball man coming in. And for is this it. a no? Com- def- nope. Yeah, defensive replacement uh, for Griffey Anderson. That's awesome. Brian to end the game. Career war of negative point two. Anderson? 
Yep. Danks and Janks, dude. This game's fantastic. Yeah. I'm t this uh, who, this White Sox for the White Sox. I, I thought for I thought for a second I wasn't gonna love this White Sox team, but their names. Um, I mean, pitched. Danks to Janks is fantastic. Yeah, we went Danks to Janks. Danks to Janks is about as good as it gets. And the Chicago White Sox are the American League Central champion. Let's go down on the field to Chris Ranji. Chris, take it away. You can see how excited everybody is here at U.S. Cellular Field, and we saw the crowd earlier. From the very start of this game, this entire crowd has been in it, and I don't think that I expected, guys, maybe you think the same thing, that this would end up being a one nothing ball game, but it's it's incredible how these this, these people in this crowd... Such a cool play to end the game. Like defensive replacement, make that catch. It's a one-run game, too. You know, a base runner on means the next guy in the box is the go-ahead run. It took a lot to get it done. One, one mistake. When you look at this game and you cut it apart, Chris Rocci and Steve Stone, Danks did the pitching and Tommy did the hitting. White Sox go on to lose to the Rays. We go to the World Series. Also, don't forget the play of Ken Griffey in center field who made the catch. A center field play. And starting pitching and tell me. Starting pitching, center field play, and Jim Tell. I've signed up for man. Jim, pretty big swing of the bat for you. Tell us about that at bat in the home. Blackburn was throwing real well. He was throwing some cutters inside. You know, he moved the ball away. I think it was a changeup he left over the middle of the play, and I, you know, I was fortunate to hit it. I hadn't been doing much here the last two or three games, so it was nice to get that big hit. Now, Harold Reynolds upstairs said the way you looked in the dugout, he thought you predicted you were going to hit home. Or was he right? No, not at all. Harold was being kind. I was just trying to have good at bats. But, I mean, look at this. This is what it's all about. October baseball. All right, you're in October baseball now. You got a guy in John Danks that uh, got to be pretty happy with the way he performed, huh? You know what? What a, what a start. He come out. He, he threw all his pitches for strikes. And uh, we're so proud of him. All our guys, they've done such a great job. And you know what? Now we can focus in on what we're trying to accomplish. And he did a hell of a job for us. Now, before the game, I was this is a delightful you know, interview. These guys might not get yeah, Tommy's really <laughs> letting it air out, man. In the outfield and center there, uh, Junior yeah. making a pretty nice play, huh? He did, a, he did a heck of a job. I'm so happy for him, too. The career he's had for him to get, get into postseason. And we're going we're gonna to enjoy the ride. But uh, understand that Tampa's got a nice club. Go down there, hopefully, hopefully see what we can do. Yeah, you only played three series against them this year. Good young pitching. Can they you handy, handicap it for us a little bit? Well, Joe Madden, you know what? He does a terrific job with those guys. They've, they've, uh, they've had a. I mean, he sounds like a coach. I don't know how old he is. He's clearly like a veteran, but he sounds like a, just a proud, proud coach of all. I just can't yeah. believe these guys actually got together and put what a heck of an effort. I love each and every one of them. <laughs> it's it's yeah. awesome. Very uh, genuine like, and, and yeah. letting it rip. Not not really thinking, but... Rarely do those interviews actually amount to good content. That was like nice, wholesome <laughs> interview. Very uh, good, And the changeup thing content. was right. I am redeemed. There you go. Boom. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that game a lot. So uh, we will be back next year. The Twins are in another tiebreaker the very mm. next year. Holy smokes. Thanks for watching with us. Uh, we'll see you later. Goodbye.